All right, PML fans, we are on to a past champion himself, David of the Galveston Rillagoons. He drafted Cinderace, Venusaur, that bastard, Umbreon, Rune Regis, Electabuzz, Cherum, Ninetales, Mantine, Mianchao, and Darmanitan, I believe you know him. No, Galarian. No, it's Galarian, yeah. <clears throat> And he that is that is his busted team there. <laughs> I think my son's gonna take it away. Um, I think um Yeah. Get something to say there. <laughs> um <laughs> the team has left us speechless. Yeah. Um the, this is this is probably my favorite team overall to be honest. It's not necessarily the strongest or the best, and I haven't given it the highest grade out of every team, but this is my favorite team to look at and go, oh yeah, if I didn't have my team, I'd have this team. It's aesthetic, right? It's so aesthetic. Um you can't G Max Cinderace in this, can he? So Yeah, he can. That, um, he, can, he, can? he can G Max whatever whatever he wants. Oh, okay. Well, he's got the G-Max, which is great, but I think he's probably better off running uh, regular Dynamax in the race if you, if you, that's what he ends up Dynamaxing. Oh, no, actually, he, all... he, he drafted regular Cinder Ace, yeah. Mm. It's just like a nice side oh, team. Your favorite. It's, it's a solid yes. team and uh, a reliable way to get up Sun without using a lower nine shells in a double battle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I think as I think as well, nine tails isn't necessarily bad in this either. Um, I mean, you can't have everything. Uh, you'd obviously prefer Torkoal and a Trick Room with those like charcoal eruptions, but you, you know, nine tails with Heat Wave is in in terms of draft format, like this, that's fine. Um, you can't always get what you want. Um, it's the nature of having you know one of one copy of each Pokemon. Um, but I think overall he's drafted really well for what he's what he's got. Um, I think that makes it sound really negative, but you know in terms of bulk, you know Umbreon, Runa Rune uh Mantine, that's a really really def strong defensive call there. Um, so I think he's you know I think he's done reasonably well in, in that regard. But it's not a bulk. I think another thing to remember. Yeah, another thing to remember about the bulk is is cheer. Um, I mean, Cherim looks about as useless as tits on a ball, but that flower gift can't be underrated. I don't think the um, I think it's attack and special defense boosts or something like that. Yeah, I remember partner. looking it up a while ago, but then I forgot because it's sort of like useful mm. information. But so that can help. Say Cinderace, for example, take a hit, which could be the difference between a kill or not. Flower Gift um, raises the attack and special defense of all party Pokemon by 50% during harsh sunlight. Yeah. So it's both. That's right. Helps with wall breaking and helps with the special attack from the, from the opponents. Mm. So it raises attack and special defense? Yeah, by 50%. Yeah. Wow. It's like getting an assault yeah, vest that's and a choice band in one go. That is pretty yep. busted. I didn't think of cheering pretty being busted. like that. <laughs> the problem is you have to have it on the field, so. Yeah, you you've only got one mon that can use it, but it will still sit there. And I'm sure it's got, I don't know if Cherim's physical or special, but I'm sure it can do damage itself. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, uh, does it give a boost to itself, too? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, both, yeah it both itself. Yeah, um, it's probably if you look closely at it, it's probably Pokemon has got Pollen Puff, too, or you know, some kind of healing move. Oh, so okay. <laughs> it'll just sit and just you know provide that additional support, that attacking support, and then, um, you know, provide that health bonus as well. It's just one of those Pokemon you just got to, you see it, yeah, Pollen Puff. It's got, it's got Pollen Puff there. Um, and you know, it gets access to Solar Blade and Solar Beam. Um, yeah. We also got Dazzling Gleam, Aromatherapy, Substitute. Healing Wish, really wanted to. Yeah, you know, it's got oh, it's got Weather Ball, which is going to be super helpful to get fire off, fire attacks off, but not that it needs it. Um, yeah, I think um, yeah, 
don't underestimate the cherries. <clears throat> um, but I'm very much looking forward to, you know, crushing them. <laughs> I'm going to crush the cherries. Him for he, he, should have, he should have had his name, uh, Bust My Terry. <laughs> uh, for Bulk, <laughs> Bulk gave him an eight. I, I'd agree. I too gave him an eight. And that brings us to uh, speed tiers now. Unless y'all had something else to say. No. no. Okay. All right, speed tiers. Uh, great speed tier. Uh, Cinderace, of course, base speed is fantastic. Darmanitan, normally Scarf. And, uh, of course, uh, spread damage is going to be big with those rock slides and things like that. Venusaur getting sun boosted. Nine tails naturally fast. And Electro Buzz sneakily fast. Mm. I, I think he's done really well with his speed tiers, and he's um, I think he he'll want to be fast. He want to be in. I think he'll prefer to be not in Trick Room, but mm -hmm. if he does find himself in Trick Room, he's got Rune Regis there to provide either, like some kind of defensive Trick Room options. Um, he can just run Trick Room and just get rid of it off the field. Um, but that's not to say as well he can't run in Trick Room. I think you know some. Of them, like I think looking at Mantine in particular, it can it also sort of it can kind of sit I think in Trick Room. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he'll want to be fast. And Umbreon as well can also sort of just sit in that Trick Room space and just sort of soak up that, those turns. <laughs> Whoops, he can just soak up those turns until um, Trick Room's over. But I think by and large, he's going to want to be under regular play, yeah, taking advantage of the sun and getting very very fast. Yeah, I feel he has a real good uh, Tailwinder in Mantine. Um, obviously, uh, Sun boosted speed of his team naturally, and Rune Regis can uh, counter Trick Room by Trick Room itself, or even Imprisonment. Um, yeah, so I gave him an 8 for speed control. I guess I'm generous. I'm giving him a 9. Yeah, I gave him a 9 as well, solely because he does have Venusaur as a Sun Sweeper. If he didn't have a Sun Sweeper or he needed Manual Sun, it would be a bit different. But, you know, Nine Tails, Venusaur, or, you know, Venusaur's going to probably be the fastest thing on the field. That's handy. Definitely. That's handy in doubles. Definitely. And Venusaur, of course, can also just be a shenanigan defensive Pokemon with Sleep Powder. Mm -hmm. Just cause problems that way. All right, so uh, that brings us to wall breaking. Yeah, look, I think that's going to be a, a big, hard, like, 10 from me. Because much like what we talked about with Zax, this has got wall breaking coming out of everywhere. Um, you know, you bring Cherim out in the field. Like, sorry, with that Cinderella. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> bring Cinderace out of the field. You bring Darmanitan out of the field. Those two by themselves will punch holes into anything. Um, then you add the sun boost from Cherum on top of that. And it's just because the, the attack stats become absolutely obscene. And you could run... There's an argument to run... There's almost an argument for running Venusaur as um, physical in this draft just because Cherim gives him that attack boost with, without even need, needing to use growth. And he gets some good physical attacking moves as well. He gets, you know, Outrage, he gets um, Earthquake, he gets um, uh, Knock Off. Knock Off, he gets um, uh, this Frenzy Plant, but I think that's there's one better than um, Power Whip. He gets Power Whip. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have to have recharge. Like, so there's, an, there's an argument there for him to even be able to run a physical Venusaur in this format. Um, I think it, there's a lot going on for it, and I think he's you know got many many options to really break down teams really really quite well. Yeah, I agree. Mm, there's not much to add to that. <laughs> no, pretty self-explanatory. All right, I will. Um, agree I would, with the I yeah, I went with nine. Damn it. Perfect score, I'm <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All 
All right, next up, we got a uh, recovery and support. And uh, I guess, uh, like Jaden's been talking about, uh, Cherim is probably his number one supporter, especially with giving that special defense boost plus attack boost. 50% boosted. That's just insane. But uh, if anyone was going to think of it, of course, it was David. That's up there. Like the um, the Cherim play is up there with my Cottony play a couple of years ago. Everyone was sort of like, "Why the fuck are you drafting Cottony?" And until they saw me um, be able to waste Dynamax moves with substitutes and then the Mento out when um, the Dynamax was burnt was was finished. Um, <laughs> it's like it was one. It's up there with one of those plays. It's really jank, but it, I think it'll work very effectively. Jank indeed. Play, uh tailwind either hey it doesn't hurt to get a free tailwind either mm. no definitely not um i think the um the main reliable support that's gonna that's gonna come from david's team is cherub i don't really see a lot of you know rudarigas's um support and utility in in this format um it, He's got Trick Room, you got Stealth Rock. I don't know that he run, wants, to, again, doesn't really want to run Trick Room unless it's defensive. I don't really know that he's going to run it that way either. I think if he runs Rune Regis, it'll be more of that defensive body press. Mm -hmm. um, because he doesn't really have a, outside of Cinderace, he doesn't really have a, a, a good fighting option. Um, what else is there? Um, well, the gets close combat. It's true. But he's also got Gorilla Tactics, so he can't, he's going to be locked into that. Mm -hmm. Unless he decides to run Zen mode, which would be obscene. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. David, let's be honest. He can even hey. max it. Yeah, max, uh, Dynamax, Zen mode, Darmanitan G. Man, those stats would be unbelievable. Yeah. Cherim out the field too, man. Just give him the title. <laughs> I really, I'm not going to do it. Like, it's going to be David. I really feel like if anyone's going to stop Zach. In, from getting his maiden title, it's going to be David. Yeah, Dave, I mean, David is the reigning champ, uh, defending champ this season, so I don't expect well, anything less. Well, Back keep your eyes out, listeners, for week four's recaps and watch there for that because that's when, that's when these two giants are battling. So that'll be, I think that'll be the grand final. That'll be the yeah grand final match, really, for our division. Mm-hmm. One of them's going to the playoff, the championships, in my opinion. And yeah, look, who preps I better. feel like I feel like though if they were split up, I feel like they'd both beat each other in the grand final. So I really feel like it's going to be a grand final match either way. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, on so what did we get we get for wall breaking? I got ten. Yeah, I did ten. Nine. Oh, we do nine. Yeah, and then we but, did uh, we're, we're, we're on support. Yeah, we're support. in recovery and support. Yeah, I nice. think uh, I'm going to go with seven. I'm going to go with Should nine be... because I feel uh, Umbreon's going to do some wish patching. Uh, Mantine, of course, is going to get Tailwinds up for this team whenever he doesn't want to rely on Sun. I mean, he's going to have Sun all the time. But those rare few turns he's not going to have Sun, Mantine's going to be putting in the work. Yeah, no, actually, I'll, I'll change mine to an eight because I didn't consider the tailwind on Mantine. But yes, um, I think there's a, there's a couple of support options there. The, the, I think the support that he's got is, is good. I don't know that he necessarily needs the support. I think he's just got enough firepower just to get over the line as it is. Yeah, I, I don't see David having uh, many battles that go over 10 turns. No, neither do I. All right, and lastly, that brings us to Team Synergy, and we've, we've been raving about how this team works well together. Um, I'm going to go 10. Me too. Uh, you guys drive a hard bargain, don't you? I went nine. <laughs> um, <laughs> just because so that's the rules. Well, come on, still give it a nine and a half. Come on now. No, I, I don't do point fives. <laughs> you gotta earn that whole point <laughs> or you don't get nothing. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no, um 
great team. Um, there's really not much. I think there's much more to say about it, really. I don't just think so. Great team. Um, oh, it's in the answer. Everything we've covered so far. Well, I made my comment about the um, the lack of a fighting time. He's got Miancha there, right there. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fake out pressure, regenerator, U turn. Uh, yeah, jeez. You're fighting. Yeah, look, that's a it's a great fighting type all around. Um, yeah, look, doesn't get doesn't get much better than this team. I think it's it's aesthetic to look at. It's it's, it's exciting. I think David will put up a good, strong challenge. I'm very interested to see how his battles go. All right, I gave him a 46 out of 50, so he's my he's tied with uh, Zach for me. 44, so he's one below. 44. All right, and I think with that, that gives Zach the edge over David. All right. Oh. Um, I feel, I feel like if, if I'm going to put my if I'm going to put my um, bet out there, I'd put I'd bet on David to take it out. Just to, just to edge Zach, not to no disrespect to Zach. Zach's going to put up a strong strong fight. I just think there's an there's enough in this team to be able to. I think I was just comparing the two teams. I think David's just got the edge on over the two of them. What about you, Stu? How do you feel if you had to pick one? Um, I still gotta go Zach, I think. Even though I really, really like David's team, like I said, that's the one I'd want if I couldn't have mine. Um, yeah, I don't know. Zach's got the pedigree. But you got you got me over here eating the sweetest fish because I'm staying neutral. <laughs> neutral. <laughs> neutral. Neutral. So, one guy wants Since to give when is it one guy wants to give point five. <laughs> one guy wants to give point five because he can't decide, and the other guy wants to give can't decide, so he's not going to choose. Okay, fine. Look at look at you okay. guys not trying to step on anybody's toes. Come on now, crack I mean, the whip. Let's go. Make a, both, make a decision, Joe. They're both in y'all's division, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> I, I, I'll worry about it if I meet one of them in the championship. If I make it that far. 